welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see another coding interview question called middle of a linked list so this is easy level question and uh, this has been asked in many interviews so let's get started the problem statement states that given the head of a singly linked list written the middle node of the linked list so a list will be given and the head of the linked list will be given we have to return the middle node of that linked list if you see the example one we have one two three four five and we have to return the middle of this list so that is three is the middle node so we have to return this list three four five so middle node of the list is node three in the second example there is a list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have to return the middle of the node. So here this is this list has odd number of elements. This has even number of elements. So if there is odd number of elements, we'll directly get the middle node. If there is even number of elements, it's here he's saying that we have to return the second middle one. So this two will be middle, but we have to return this second one. So Constraints we can see number of nodes in the list it should be in the range 1 and 100 it can be in the range and whatever the values that should also be in the range 1 and 100 so approaches let's see what what all we can have for this first thing what we can do in the uh, brute force approach is that you can find the total number of nodes you can find the length of this linked list and again you can traverse till the length by 2 of that list and return that node that will be the middle node so here the time complexity will be big o of n because we have to travel the whole list and then we have to we are returning this one this middle one in the second approach which is more optimized than the first what we will do we will solve it in big O of uh, one space and uh, will not take any extra space here and let's see how we will do this uh, approach here will be like we'll use pointers so basically we will use two pointers called fast and slow pointers the logic is fast pointer will move two nodes at a time and slow pointer will move one node at a time so here once the fast pointer covers uh, once the fast pointer reaches the last node the slow pointer will be in the will, will cover the half of that uh, distance so example is like two persons are uh, going from distance a to b from point a to b covering a distance of uh, one one person covering five kilometer per hour and second person covering 10 km per hour so when the person completes at 10 km per hour in one hour the second person will be at 5 km per hour so he will be at 5 km distance so half of the node can be tracked from there so he will be exactly at the half so using same logic we will try to solve here simple things we will try to write the code very simple so what we will do we will take two nodes slow pointer and both will be at the head initially we'll initialize to head and fast pointer this also we will initialize with head so we'll point slow pointer and fast pointer here now what we will do right we will increase of slow pointer by one we'll move it by one fast pointer by two so what we will do slow pointer equal to slow pointer that dot next we are increasing slow pointer by one we are increasing for moving fast pointer by two fast pointer dot next dot next so till when we'll do we have to write the condition when we have to do that that condition we have to write so what we will do that condition we will try to figure out now the condition will be here here 
here let's see let's see the dry run and we'll write the condition so let's say slow pointer is here fast pointer is also here initially slow pointer moving by one so slow pointer comes here fast pointer moving by two fast pointer comes here okay again slow pointer is moving by one slow pointer is come here fast pointer will move by two fast pointer come here okay now there are no nodes for the fast pointer it reaches the end so we have to check the next of this last node it should not be null so if it is null we have to uh, we have to stop there so fast pointer dot next not equal to null this is one condition let's see if we get any other condition let's take this example similarly slow pointer move by one fast pointer move by two so slow pointer will come to here fast pointer will come to here again slow pointer will move by one fast pointer will move by one so here it will come again slow pointer will move by one fast pointer will will come here so fast pointer is at null so another condition what we have got fast pointer not equal to null okay fast pointer not equal to null simple so whether the list is even number of it has even number of nodes or odd number of nodes will get this so the simple will return the slow pointer wherever the slow pointer will be there that node will be the middle node so let's try to run this code so accepted let's try to submit okay uh, there is some error let's check cannot read field next because this value is null so let us try to fix our logic here let's try to verify verify fast pointer first first this this condition will put and then we'll place this condition so let's try to see like how it will work now let's try to run again try to submit yes so it is uh, successfully got solved and uh, the thing like while while we write the condition we have to carefully write such that like it, it doesn't throw in null pointer exception and it handle all the cases so i hope you have uh, understood this question it's quite simple and it's mostly asked in interviews and if you want more such interview questions you can comment on your questions i'll try to solve those thank you bye